Thank you so much to the official channel sponsor, the Wealth Masters Club, for helping ordinary people make money through property investments in specialized trusts. Click the link in the description to find out more. Ladies and gentlemen, let's prop in. what's going on everyone welcome back to another episode of let's prop in if this is your first time here i go with nemos bs Mia. what we do on this channel is that we explore and showcase some of the most beautiful homes in and around south africa today we are back in camps bay looking at two magnificent contemporary homes designed and developed by the cape town division of the esteemed milan-based sk properties these homes or these two apartments were designed to sort of maximize that the glorious views and the cosmopolitan lifestyle that Cape Town has to offer while still preserving that privacy and security. So excited to share this homes with you guys. But before we get into it though, massive shout out to Knox Properties for giving us this exclusive look to, to share these properties with you guys. I'll list the listing details down below and also their information down below. These properties are short-term stays which are rented daily so i'll leave that information down below in terms of rates and cost included but before we get into this if you haven't yet subscribed go ahead subscribe uh on the road to 50k well i'm not sure by the time you watch this video where we will be but thank you so much for the continuous support that you guys show without further ado ladies and gentlemen let's prop in So beginning this tour on the outside and the external facade, this is a beautiful contemporary home with lots of sort of architectural lines in the design. But looking at the here on the outside, it's a four car garage. And if looking at the external facade, you have this beautiful textured finish to this plaster. And if you look at the whole structure, most of it has this off shutter concrete finish, which is very stunning. But we will get more into that detail, but this is quite a steep, uh, steep drive through into this car garage. I'm sure we also show you guys the inside of the car garage because you guys love seeing the, the garages for, for some reason. But this, as I said in the beginning, there's two apartments here. The first one that we're going to look at is Villa Murto. And the second one that we're going to look at, the, the top level one, that is Villa Rosmarino. So approaching this main entry where I love this natural stepped stone integrating as steps to this entry, it gives you that natural feel and almost preempts or preps you on what you're about to find in this home. Sort of natural elements with the concrete and other types of high class materials or high, high quality materials. So entering this home, you're greeted by this large, very, very dramatic sort of entryway. Behind you guys, you have this natural um, garden, courtyard, atrium. Uh, which is, resembles the one that we're going to see upstairs and on the top floor at the rear of the property. Very dramatic entryway, this large foyer with this, with this sort of statement piece, large plant in the middle of it. Following me this side, you have this very large uh, mirror here, which is framed with this beautiful moldings, uh, wooden molding. Very large entryway, as you can see, it's very dramatic, low lighting. And if you look at above us, you get this LED strip, which continues throughout the whole, um, the, the whole length of this, of this foyer. Elevator that takes you to the top, to the first apartment and also the second apartment. But if the apartments are booked separately, the, your tag can only take you to the apartment that you are currently renting out. So in front of me, you get a passageway which leads you to the car garage, the first two car garage, and then the second portion of the car garage. So going up to the first apartment, which is Villa Murto, let's see. So welcome to Villa Murto. This is the first apartment. As you come off the lift, you're greeted by this sensational area lift space here. Coming towards this first living 
area but before we get into it i'd like to just point out this stunning courtyard area here it's so beautiful filled out with this vegetation large boulder very natural in its feeling and you also have a glimpse of the the roof the the roof garden above us which we will see perfectly from the apartment above entering this property i mean the first time that we sort of were, were walking around and seeing this property we couldn't stop smiling because everything in terms of the design the proportions were just perfect um trying to give you that 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 ease of it being an ap apartment but it's still feeling as a home so coming towards this side to this kitchen very seamless very minimalist approach to this whole kitchen where everything is just it just looks like panels and nothing sort of comes out or jumps out and obscures the eye throughout you have smeg integrated appliance smeg stove electric stove here smeg appliance here and beautiful stunning uh, Blanco accessories here with the mixer and sink. Very stunning. I love the, the black, matte black finish to the mixer. So coming towards you guys, as I said, you have this in, in, well integrated Smeg appliances here and just pointing out or emphasizing how sort of minimalist this kitchen is. The fridge is concealed in these panels here. And if you didn't sort of no, this kitchen you wouldn't even notice that there is a fridge i love this bar this bar breakfast bar set up here you have these three beautiful chairs to have your breakfast here um but in terms of this kitchen very stunning the color palette that was used throughout this whole home sort of resembles those earthy tones which draws us here to this formal dining area i love the what they try to emphasize with this whole home is the flow and the textures and the high quality materials that were used throughout. So bringing us here to this formal dining area, I love the irregular shape of this of this table. It's quite easy just to, there's a lot of lines and, 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 and directions in this whole home in terms of architecturally, which does sort of increase the, the, the dynamic feel of the home. But in terms of the harmony and bringing things together, these curves are very important. I love this table and you have how many six seater or seven seater around with this beautiful suspended light fixture over, overhead. Very stunning moment here. I mean, this, this home is very special and I think it, it might go down as one of our favorites. So bringing you guys here, you have this beautiful artwork here. At the backdrop, you have this concrete molding behind it with this off shutter finish or concrete off shutter concrete finish, which I, I spoke about in the intro. The thing I was saying about off cutter or off shutter concrete is that it provides sort of a, a fresh contemporary aesthetic that is grounded by a, a palette of earth tones and, and textures which are inspired by the sandstone of the sort of the 12 apostles. So coming towards this side, I love the way in which this, so this couch is facing the view to maximize while you're sitting here, you're looking at the view and you're just enjoying and absor absorbing it. And the lovely thing about it, this location specifically is that in front of us, nothing will ever get or nothing will be built in front of you because of the rainwater or storm water which channels through the, the, this lower valley down there. So come just point just coming outside for a moment and taking a, a a moment to appreciate these incredible views as you come out you you you, you land on this beautiful decking which was constructed by imported Italian deck deco so to 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 be able to withstand the the coastal environment and also the the sun that sun that shines throughout the whole year in front of us you get this beautiful solar heated pool very stunning on a day like this we might as well jump in you know i think it i think it would be very appropriate today uh probably have to bring out the shorts beautiful setup here you have soft furniture throughout this whole decking and there you have just a beautiful moment just to enjoy the sun and probably have your morning morning coffee there i can't think of a, a sort of a, a better place to to have your coffee um yeah that's just perfect so coming back into the into the home and looking at some of the bedrooms this this home does have three bedrooms i love before we get to the bedrooms. i love the fact that these sliding doors open the whole way out so sort of to also bringing that natural uh draft of fresh air into the property but also allowing access or ample amounts of natural lighting to pour into the space and bounce off these beautiful textures and materials. 
wrapping around this side and going into the first bedroom one thing that you will notice throughout the whole home the artworks are absolutely incredible it looks like a gallery and it complements this home very well while walking here the first time and looking at all the rooms my first impression was that this this home looks like a, 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 a art piece in itself just because of the design and the way things are staged so coming to this first bedroom beautiful setup you have these beautiful tvs that are currently they look as though it's an art piece on itself stunning tv and from here you have access to the to the decking or the terrace outside with this uh, see-through balustrade which allows that endless view that you'd have from this bed so coming on this side cabinetry space throughout i mean you have ample amount of storage here and for short-term stays i don't think you'll ever need anything more than this Coming in here, stunning. <laughs> this is what I was speaking about when I was talking about this home looking like a, an artwork. I mean, look at this, this tiling that wraps around this whole bathroom, sensational, beautiful, large shower head. And then you have almost a vertical slither of opening window there to bring in a little bit of natural lighting, very neat outlet there. Stunning bathroom here, you have this floating vanity and LED lighting uh, at the bottom just to bring that about that ambiance to the space. And these beautiful light globes here, I mean, it feels like this is your stage and when you're preparing or getting ready, you feel like you're, you're the main characters to your story in a way. So coming towards you guys and this is a beautiful moment here. Stunning, there's so many different moments throughout this whole home where you could spend the whole day sitting there and it sort of absorbing what you, you're seeing. Again, with these beautiful finishes, you have this powder room here. And as we come this side, this is the second bedroom. The finishes are quite similar, high quality finishes with the tiling consistent. The, the wall finish is very consistent. What does change is sort of the composition and the shape of the rooms. Here you have more of the, a view of Lion's Head, which here today, as I stand here, is very clear, it's incredible. And you have sort of the vegetation wrapping around, newly built homes, so the, the, the vegetation throughout is still sort of growing into its, its shape and form. In front of us, you get this bathroom here, similar finishes, I love these floating vanities, and below you will have uh, the LED lighting strip. Behind you guys, you get this storage facilities, very large storage facility, almost floor to ceiling. Very high quality finishes and I love the, the color palette throughout this home. It gives you that sandstone, earthy palette throughout this whole home. So coming towards this side, this is, this is basically considered the main bedroom to this floor. Approaching here, this is a very minimalist uh, door frame. It's not very bulky and it's very slim. I love this this door frame. Approaching this main bedroom, and as you sort of enter it, you feel all the elements sort of coming together from this bedroom. You have access, direct access to this courtyard, atrium area, and from here you have incredible views of the Atlantic Ocean. I mean, it's very tranquil. One thing I can say about this whole home, very tranquil, very zen and peaceful as something that you'd like at this level. TV setup here, this wall is acting as sort of a separator between the main bedroom area and the bathroom, but we will go there. Just coming, drawing you guys this side, this is a walk-in closet of some sorts. Very beautiful storage facilities and open shelving throughout here. And here you have this large mirror, so to when you're preparing yourself to, to look at. So coming towards you guys back into or towards the the bathroom here you have just a, a small setup here to sort of knock out a few hours of work so coming this side into this bathroom as i said as i said this is considered the main bedroom to villa Merto. you have you have standalone bath here with this beautiful seamless chrome finish to this uh, tab fixture and the mix is very seamless and also very minimalist and here as you come here you're looking at you're looking at this floating vanity with the led lighting and these two light fixtures either side of the mirror i love i love the fact that this 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 bathroom is different to the other ones making it very special and making it into that main bedroom so coming towards this side <laughs> 
what, what I said about this film being an art art piece or an artwork it also is also consistent here and emphasized here. I mean, Shari here, you feel like you're in a, I don't know, maybe a runway or some type of art installation where you have this large shower head, but around you and high scenes, but around you have this beautiful marble tile finish throughout with this sort of sandstone color to it, which is very interesting. And throughout you have these, with these very natural um, tile rails which obviously is just a furniture piece, but very, very intentional. So coming back towards this side and actually crossing over, just to show you guys this courtyard, crossing over back into the main living area. This was incredible to see design, materials, textures, and just the overall flow of this apartment. And that was it for Villa Merto. The second Villa, Villa Rose Marino, is quite similar, just slight differences, but I'd like to share it with you guys. Let's go. Welcome to the second apartment, Villa Rosmarino. As you can see off the left, you're greeted by this decking here. To my left, you have this beautiful moment of this sort of washed green seating space where you can sit and enjoy the amazing views of the 12 apostles, which you do have from this angle and also the overall sort of Counts Bay landscape and Obviously, <laughs> I think it sticks out like a sore thumb, a lion's head. Beautiful views from here, solar heated swimming pool. Um, and approaching here, similar to the apartment that we did see before, you have high quality finishes. You have this imported Italian tile and coming towards this side, very seamless finish. So this countertop, abundant amount of sort of storage, even on this side, very functional, not just aesthetical. And I'm sure it is soft clothes. Oof, that's, that's, that's super soft clothes. So you have your, your stove here, integrated appliance, sink here, very seamless to uh, feel to this whole kitchen. Of course, again, you have your breakfast bar here. And one thing I didn't mention down below is this column, steel column that you have here. I'm sure it, it is very, or it's, it's a structural piece here. So coming towards this side, as I said, the, the, the two apartments are very similar. Here you have the circular table with this natural or, or natural legs or stand or installation to the legs. You have the seating around it. I love this color, this tan sandy color to these seating seats, seats and also the ruggedness of the seats. It's not, it has these rough edges, which um, sort of emphasizes the natural feel to this whole space and the, the space opens up perfectly to this rear garden where you have these natural large boulders uh, to my left and right. This home is, integrates very well into the ecosystem. And I'm not sure if you can see above us, you have a couple of geckos, they're very stunning. It has sort of a, a, a turquoise or blue head to it. Very, very stunning here. It's, it's, it's your own natural space and then Come in this side, this, these, these spaces, as I've said below, the emphasis was on flow, how it flows, this on, open concept living, it flows perfectly from the, from the kitchen to the dining area, to this sort of TV area. Here, you do have this water sort of um, wallpaper TV, stunning with this off shutter concrete finish to the backdrop. And you have this beautiful gas, gas fireplace, when it is sort of your, your more colder days, you can enjoy it with this lovely view. So coming towards this side and looking at the first bedroom to my left, as you enter this bedroom, the, the view is sort of where your eye is automatically drawn to. You get the view, you get these sliding doors that open all the way to the sort of the corner. You have access, direct access to the pool, the entertainment area, and above the entertainment area, I love that it's still sort of semi-covered by this um, structure or co concrete structure and soffit. In front of us, you get this floor to ceiling windows, which do have electronic shutters that open and close. 
to my in front of us you get this these these storage cupboards here abundant amount of storage for you to sort of place your clothes anything like that you're covered coming towards the side and maybe not them if i if I let me not forget that there is uh, aircon throughout the whole home, and I love the fact that it is concealed within the ceiling. You also have your your recessed lighting throughout. And coming here, similar similar with the bathroom is very similar in terms of the finishes. You have this marble tile throughout the whole perimeter of the bathroom, floating vanity LED lighting below, and these two um, light fixtures as before. So coming towards that side and out this bedroom. To my left, you get to this second bedroom here. Here you have this beautiful moment here where you have a vertical floor to ceiling uh, fenestration here, bringing a little bit of natural lighting to this whole space here. So in, in front of us here, this is, if, if you thought that view was, was impressive, this is, this is on another level. How this is framed is so beautiful as you approach it. It feels like you're actually going towards a dream. Um, that's how magical it feels. In front of us here, you have storage facilities here to store all your clothing. And in front of us, a little bit of a difference with this bathroom, you have this floating vanity, a little bit larger than the one that we just saw. Um, standalone bathtub, obscured glass, but here you have this large shower head with this sort of neat outlet. But this seems like, this is very contemporary design and the way things are just free flowing and there's no really, really any barriers towards the space. And again, this beautiful sort of sugar, sugar coat or bamboo uh, installation to the, for these towel rails. To my left here, you ha have the water closet. I'm sure it is soft closed. We won't leave here until we check that the, the, also the water closets are soft closed. So coming back this side towards the bedroom, very beautiful. I mean, <laughs> if I didn't know better, I wouldn't have even thought that there are any windows here because it's floor to ceiling. And the fact that the ceiling is sort of dropped it hides away the framing at the top, which gives you this feel that there aren't any barriers from in the room to the outdoors. I love that about this room. The coming this side, it wraps around the whole way until the end of this wall, this adjacent wall. But from here, your view is absolutely stunning. The sun is going to set in a few hours and the views are incredible. You have these endless views of the Atlantic Ocean. Um, you get the, the, the horizon there, very magical. Um, looking out there, you can get trapped by st about, you can get trapped staring there the whole day. So coming back this side onto the main landing that we came from, to my left and on this floor, this is the third bedroom, very different, slightly smaller than the ones that we did see. But the difference between this one is that you have almost your own private backyard garden area cupboard space behind you guys aircon as i said above us you have these shutter roller shutters to close off the space from sun beautiful artwork again and as we approach here very stunning high quality finishes to the bathroom everything that that you'd really want and expect from this from this level of home and then you have to my, to my left behind the door there you have an opening which brings in natural lighting to the space so coming to walk back towards the main area. So coming back this side to the main area, as you've seen, three bedrooms are very high quality. That's one of the things they did also emphasize with this home, high quality materials, very different textures throughout the whole home, very dynamic and different shapes throughout, just to increase the, the, the harmony and juxtaposing different lines uh, against each other. So before we end this to a massive shout out, or maybe before, I give them a shout out. I'd like to maybe to explain that the, these two properties or these two apartments can be rented out separately or together depending on what your requirements are. But before we get out of here, massive shout out to Knox Property for allowing us to share these incredible two homes with you guys. Um, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead, subscribe. We've enjoyed this, this tour. 
But one one thing that we we mustn't fail to forget is that we are very appreciate the we appreciate the continuous support from you guys. We see the comments, we see the likes, we see everything. So thank you so much. Um, road to 50k, or I'm not sure by the time we release this where we will be, but road maybe to 100k, 200k. But thank you so much for the continuous support from us at this prop in to you guys. See you soon.